Welcome to our lab on SSH, Secure Shell. You can look through the objective in your own time, but this is our topology. Just two routers connected, each with its own IP address. Our dragger pane 19, uh, I think the model is 1941, just down there. But anything with an Ethernet interface, but you must use a crossover cable here because we don't have a switch between the two. So a straight cable won't work. I'll connect to the 2 gigabit Ethernet interfaces. If you've got fast Ethernet on your routers, that's just fine. And I'll click on CLI tab here for the command line interface. I'll just drag it a bit, uh, a bit bigger here so we can get a good look. And I'll do the same with router 1. I'll just get it um, in a nice position here so we can all see it. You'll find a way that's uh, comfortable for you when you're configuring your labs. Uh, we'll go through the steps. First thing, you don't actually need to do this, but I thought it makes it easier. And you can do this for all of the labs if you wish. Is configure a host name. We need to type no to configuration dialog to start with. And then we'll go config enable and then config terminal. The command is host name and then whatever your host name is. I'm going to put R0, short for router 0. And on the right hand router is router 1. I'll shorten the commands now. EN for enable, enter, conf T for configure, configure terminal, host name R1. Now we need to add an IP address to either side so we've got IP connectivity. The IP addresses are 192.168.1.1 and 1.2 for the right hand router. So interface space question mark. I just wanted to show you what the av available interfaces are. And in fact, if we just type end, even better, show IP interface brief will tell us what's actually connected to our router. And you can see we've got two gigabit Ethernet interfaces. Don't worry about the VLAN at the moment. That's in a, another lab. So conf T, INT for short, G0 slash zero for short. Press enter and then IP address 192.168.1.1 and then space. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and then enter and no shut or no shut down. That brings the interface up. We can't actually pass traffic between the routers until we've done the same on router uh, 1. So make sure you're in config mode. INT for interface G0 slash 0, enter. And then the IP address is 192.168.1.2. No shutdown. And then we'll need to ping between router 1 and router 0. If we don't do this, and then it turns out the interface isn't up for some reason, we're going to have problems later on um, troubleshooting. So we'll ping 192.168.1.1, which is on router 0. The first ping packet will fail because it needs to do uh, an ARP lookup, but we should have four ping successes. All right, so now we'll go to the um, lab. I'll just remove some of the extra bits we don't need while well, I've spotted it, sorry. So we need to configure our uh, SSH. Different ways to do this on different devices, obviously, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it on this particular device. Uh, we need to add a domain name. Here's your options. You can always hit the question mark. It's domain dash name. I show you that because some commands have got dashes in and some have got spaces. 101labs.net, press enter. If you go to the uh, next command, It's crypto key generate RSA. And you choose a, a modulus. You'll have different uh, options depending on the level of security you have. I've done 10, 1024 and then IP SSH time dash out. Don't need to do this, but I'm going to configure 60 seconds. Uh, the next command will be um, IPSSH authentication retries. 
So how many times can you uh, retry your connection? I'll set this to two. I hit the question mark so you can see how many you can choose from, zero to five. Not sure what the default is actually. Uh, the next thing is we need to enable SSH incoming traffic on our um, VTY lines. VTY is a virtual terminal lines that we allow remote connections. So I've gone line space VTY space zero space question mark and I can see I've got 15 as the last number. And then the next command is transport input and I want SSH to permit secure shell traffic. Need to add a password, so there's a challenge for incoming connections. And then I've typed end. And then the next command is show IP SSH. And that just shows me some of the configurations I've got on the SSH here. So we'll go to R0 and we'll test our connection. It's SSH space minus L space, we'll put in a username space and then the IP address of our remote router. This opens, we'll put in the password which is Cisco and we can see it's worked. We could go into enable mode now but we've proved the uh, labs working here. Thanks for watching.